the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Please calm, Please calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. Ooh, You've you. picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Hold on. Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. Okay, so... Uh, so she gets all up in arms. And she's like, don't threaten me. And I'm like, I, I didn't. And she's like, you picked the wrong fight. And I'm just like, how did we get here? <laughs> it's like, what happened in this exchange that made this into, like... Now she's my arch nemesis. <laughs> like, what? What? <laughs> okay, let's see. Are you the blackmailer? You like gossip and not a, not about medical error. Let's try gossip. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, we I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. So she's going to be like the cranky old woman character that everyone loves. And I, I assure you, like. madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. Oh, they Jesus. Can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have. Do they do this in proof, front of you? <laughs> I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. <laughs> See you on the next round. <laughs> it's like, it's like, do, do they just come into your room thinking you're asleep and just start having sex on the other bed? Like... Like, is, is that why it's always empty? <laughs> She's like, sluts. All of them can't keep their legs closed. Always scratching slutty slits. Like, do they do that? And, like, when? <laughs> the patients and staff might know something. I'll oh, start my man. investigation with them. Oh, man. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll go and evolve. And we will end this video. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and go up and evolve. Oh man, that's nuts. That that is so silly. <laughs> that is so weird. my room, jeez. Uh, oh, uh, let's go down to Milton real quick as well. I almost forgot. Uh, we should have enough shillings to grab some upgrade material. Um, we definitely want to upgrade the. We definitely want to upgrade our sword, so we'll do that. There you are, Melvin. Come on. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Doing my best. <laughs> yeah, so probably at max he'd be worth like maybe 1900 or 2000 and it, and it literally went up from 1000 to 1875 Huh. Right, trade. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Alright, so we need three of these at least. One. Oh, but he only has one in stock. Oh, well, at least we got it. He's got one of these things, so we'll take this. We'll take that. Uh, aluminum powder. Aluminum shard, grease, and screw. I want to say... Hmm. Well, we'll 
we'll have to look into our upgrade tree. Wasn't it that you only have a level tiny common handle part, which we have enough? Oh, we can go ahead and we can upgrade this now. You stake tiny common lead and lead stick. And that puts the stun at 15. I'm assuming there are going to be weapons later on that provide us with better stun. Because, like when we were fighting John Doe, his stun bar is huge. And as a boss or mini boss, I expect that. But at the same time, it makes the stake completely useless. There's no way we can get his stun bar that low with it. There's just no way. Um, we'd have to be hitting him with almost nothing but the stake and it doesn't do any damage just to get in a couple of hits from him being stunned Like it, it literally was just better for us to just beat him the way you know to beat him the way uh, we did so hmm. And this is just blood absorption Oh, and being and only oh yeah, because at first I thought blood absorption was being able to to give our give uh give health back, but it's pro it just refills your blood bar so you can use your vampiric powers more, which may be just as valuable, um, especially when you can use your blood to heal yourself. So it still kind of works in the same way. You just kind of have a middleman. It's not life steal. Eh, we might be better off using the Liston. We honestly might be better off using the Liston. Enhanced handling. Decreased stamina consumption. And apparently we do use stamina when we attack. So, that seems to be a thing. Absorb blood points when the weapon hits. When would it... it what other time would it do it? <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, the stake might have to get... And it's only... So your offhand weapons don't do damage. Because this only absorbs blood. This only does stun damage. None of your offhand weapons so far do damage. I wonder if your offhand weapons... If uh, all of the offhand weapons don't have damage on them. Maybe because that would be a little game-breaking. So for mechanics, they took away the offhand ability to do that. Because if you could wield two weapons and hit with both of them to do damage, but they're on two different buttons and you can't attack with them in tandem. So I don't know. That's weird. Or maybe that's why they don't do damage because you can't attack with them in tandem. So what would be the point? Alright. Um. Yeah, I only have one and I have three. All right, so let's go. Something here. Small bottle, okay. I hadn't noticed that before. <laughs> sometimes it can be really hard. Summer's epidemic was difficult. To see that, uh, sometimes it can be really hard to uh, see that glow. And now I know why that cursor keeps showing up. For some odd reason, my cursor will just appear back on the screen. I'm not moving it or anything. It'll just jump back over there. <laughs> this is no time for something. Uh, let's see. Just okay, yep, yeah, back to the room. And we'll do we'll evolve ourselves, take a rest, and then we'll head out to find this black. Uh, well, actually, we have to talk to a couple of people. We have 2,155 XP, and it looks like at your XP bar can only hold a certain amount of blood as well. <clears throat> so do we want to get a bunch of, let's see, do I want to get a bunch of the little skills? 100% increase in my bite damage. Increase your blood absorption when using bite in combat, which would be good because I use it often. We could get our blood spear, which would allow me to ping people from a distance, and 
it might also give me the option of pulling enemies one at a time. Like when I was in that room with the two skulls, so instead of fighting them both, maybe I could have thrown the blood spear, caught one of their, caught the attention of one of them, and then fought him by itself, and then went and finished off the other one. So that might be worth it. Place a cloud of shadows at the target's feet or yours. The cloud would explode after a short time, causing heavy damage. So this is a zoning technique, I'd like to think. But I don't see it being very. I don't see it being very. In, unless it unless it keeps the target within range of it, I don't see how it might be all that valuable. Like, this wouldn't have worked on John Doe. He was constantly moving all over the place. It may not even have worked on the Skulls, depending on how big the area is. And they won't let me... It's not like they let me preview these abilities. It'd be, it would be nice if they let me preview how they worked. could also get Shadow Veil or Spring. Drain your stamina to fade into the shadows and become invisible to most enemies. Moving in this state will drain more stamina. 5 stamina used per second when walking. 2.5 stamina used per second when standing still. So basically, if you can get around a corner, you can go invisible and just chill. But how much stamina do I actually have? Let's check. Because it's 5 when walking. Yeah, I only have like 115 stamina. So when walking, it's 5 a second. And when standing still, 2.5 isn't that bad when standing still. But when moving at 5 a second, I'd maybe... Hmm, what, 5, 10? I'd maybe get like 12 seconds. I get like 12 seconds of stealth. So that might be enough to maybe get past... An enemy, like to get past a bunch of hunters I don't want to have to deal with so that might be enough for that I don't know if it's necessary though to do it right now hmm. I might just increase the skills I already have because I definitely need to heal I definitely need to heal 1300 and I'm just and all I'm trying to do is get there and that's 2000 <sighs> and you can only regenerate a certain amount of blood like you can only regenerate a certain amount of your health trade more blood to heal yourself instantly and gain additional boost on your health regen oh well, maybe, maybe autophagy, or maybe, um, this would, maybe the using blood to heal would be better because it heals you instantly and then boosts your own regeneration. So you kind of get both worlds with that. Hmm. That's something to think about. Let's grab the spear. greater damage than before. You concentrate, you create three small blood spears, which can hit all enemies facing you. Compared to the base ability range, an individual damage is reduced. Hmm. So you can use... So you... One big spear, which passes through enemies and does a shit ton of damage, or a bunch of little spears that you can directly target to everything. Because I'm assuming the big one just goes in a straight line in front of you. Whereas if I have like five skulls I got to deal with, I can just shoot all of them with this one. Huh. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it's a thousand. Let's see what. It's. Let's first off do big thirst and gain more blood absorption. Uh, we could also do it one more time for another 300. Um, Let's also increase, the only thing about increasing our bite damage is if we want to, like if we go from a fight and know we're going to get into a bigger fight, if we find some like weak skulls that we can feed off of, we won't be able to get as, we may not be able to get as much out of them um, because we're doing so much more damage with the bite. And I don't know how much this will increase it because the bite does like 25 so it'll start doing 50. I mean it doesn't do a lot of damage anyway. So, but let's, 
because are we worried about Bite being a main damage dealer? <laughs> Plus 1400%. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's see. And this will allow us to disappear. Blood barrier. But how does that work? Do you have to be standing still? when that's up because blood barrier might also be good doesn't stop you from being grabbed three hits absorbed when your berry disappears it explodes and deals damage to anyone nearby I like blood barrier I like blood barrier or I like this version of Blood Barrier. It absorbs two hits and then explodes dealing damage. Otherwise, one hit absorbed and then two hits absorbed. Then it goes back to one hit absorbed but it explodes. And then two, two. <laughs> it only ever absorbs two to three hits. <sighs> Indecisive. Coagulation. Vampire will concentrate on the prey's blood, stopping them in their tracks and making them defenseless. And this is our stun. He will block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. So, two seconds of control. Huh. On single targets, yes. And on multiple targets, it's not a very... Yeah, single targets, yes. But in a multiple battle, how big does it get? Ooh, ten seconds. Three seconds. Oh, wow. You can feed from a distance. The target's blood will... Uh, the target's blood now will burst out of their body, flowing towards your mouth to feed you without touching your prey. Wow. So you can get your blood back from a distance. Th yeah, this, this game allows you a melee build, a ranged build, a zone build, and a rogue build. A sneaky build. It's pretty good. Three serums and more bullets. I'm not even using the gun, so I'll worry about that later. Uh, blood capacity, health, and stamina. <laughs> Let's. Where's stamina? Let's increase stamina. Because stamina, stamina, stamina. More dodges, more running, more attacks. Uh, increase my blood capacity. Or do we want to do more big thirst? And do we. Let's do blood spear so we do have a ranged ability. Oh, it, yeah, it is a so we're gonna do that. Blood spear so we have a ranged ability. Shadow Veil is tempting. Shadow Veil is very tempting. Especially if we can use it to sneak around uh, hunters so that we don't have to kill them. Though I may just end up killing them because they basically are everywhere. Um, may end up killing them. Um, I don't know if there's a mechanic for that in the game though. Because if you thin out the hunters... Like, let's say we go through and we're killing all the skulls, but we're not thinning out the hunters. That can endanger not only myself, but other vampires as well. And uh, we have to assume not all of them are assholes. Um, and some of them turn out just like me, where they've woken up newly born. They don't know how it happened. They don't know what's going on. And then some hunters come along and just start murdering them, you know? Um, but if we thin out too many of the hunters, maybe that gives rise to more of the skulls and more powerful ones like John Doe. So we don't know if, I don't know if that mechanic actually exists in the game. 
But I guess I shouldn't worry about what I don't know about, so. We are going to... Actually, do I have enough to increase my claw damage again? Nope, 2,000. 260, yeah, it does 220 damage. It's more than my sword, Jesus. No wonder I've been, like, just murdering things. Cut through the flesh of a prey so deeply that you now gain blood with each hit. Okay. There's... It basically refreshes itself. Because if you're gaining blood with each hit, you just keep... you, you It becomes your main attack. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to save up two grand for that. Because it becomes my main attack at that point. But it only gains like six blood. How much blood does it use? Yeah, it costs 20, but it only gets you back 6. Mm. It, it, keeps your, it keeps your blood from being fully, but if it gave back half of your blood, like, it costs 20, but gives you back 10, that would have been better. But I don't know if 6 is worth it. You have learned to use your claw's strength, and now strike your prey with a stun. There we go. Five and five stun. Seven stun. Oh, it only goes up to ten stun, though. Huh. Huh. Alright, alright. And this one costs 25. That'll lower the cost to 20. <laughs> mm. We might go with the stun on it. But it only, yeah, it's got less, I might as well just keep my stake then. I, I feel like, yeah, the stun on it is just not high enough to make it worth it, honestly. And as far as I can tell, I can't combo with it. I don't do consecutive strikes. So I guess we'll probably go up into that tree, but not right now. We could just save the last little bit. Why is this showing me? I could increase my blood capacity so I can use my abilities more. Fast rejuvenation. And it all co it also comes down to how many opportunities do I get to even use bikes. The only time I can use it is when um, is when they're stunned. <clears throat> and unless I sneak up on them, I don't always get that ability. I don't always get the ability to stun them during. Let's go with Shadow Veil, vale, if we have enough. Yes, let's go with Shadow Veil. Hopefully that'll help us when we need to, when we want to be stealthy and not have to kill. Yeah, sorry if I feel a little bit indecisive, but I don't know how, since I don't know how forgiving this game may be, to to build because I might put points here put points there put points here and then later in the game just get wrecked by whatever's going on because I didn't put my because I didn't synergize my skills so I don't know how forgiving this game is so I, I am being very indecisive about where to allocate my points and what would most benefit me so please bear with me on that I'll try not to do it too much or I'll try to do it off camera and then we'll come back and I'll show you the skills that I picked up Let's see. Every night the consequences of your actions may improve or degrade the district's health status. It can also be degraded due to diseases spreading among the citizens. The more lives you take, the unhealthier a district becomes. If the district's health status drops below the critical threshold, it will plunge into chaos. It is for you to decide of a district's fate. Huh. So... Citizen menu, major district events. I met everybody except this person, which is the which is who Newton is looking for. I have not found him yet. Um and I haven't been feeding on anybody, so our health status is at ninety-eight percent. Critical, serious, stable, sanitized. I got rid of his fatigue and I got rid of his fatigue. And there's no one else that needed anything that I know of. Or 
or nothing I can give him anyway. Sometimes I feel like the game expects you to eat at least one person. I've been, I've been tempted, but only by him. He's the only one I... Well, that's not true. I've been tempted by him. I have been tempted by Pippa. Um, I have been tempted by Horcroft, by Ackroyd, by Strickland, um, Miss Goswick. Miss Brannigan, he's twenty. Yeah, like a lot of them. Uh, uh, Chadana, like a lot of them, like a good half of them, are really, really hard temptation. Uh, and Dorothy, like if I ate three of them, I could get like at least two more upgrades and like really powerful. This is the door that we found. I think I remember. Yeah, I, I think this was the door. Oh, no, no, no. It's just the balcony opened up. Because I remember when we were following the killer's trail. I think it, I think it was that one. And we couldn't get in and we couldn't open the door. I think it was that one. I am now level 8. Oh, actually, let's see about our vampire abilities. So, left trigger, right trigger. Oh, can I not use them because I'm not in an area where I can go into combat? All right, let's go find an enemy real quick. Find Nurse Pippa Hawkins. Shard. Let's go. I hear skulls. Is that? Is it coming from that bush? Oh, no, I think it's the wind. That is a level 18 ferocious skull. I don't think we want to fuck with that. Oh. Okay, didn't need to do that. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we can absolutely stand still, but when we walk. And if we run, it seems to do it even seems to go even faster. Yeah, if we run, it goes even, it actually drains even more. But, we can go in and out of it. Oh, but when we come back out, it's on like a minute, it's almost on a minute cooldown. God damn it, that thing is loud. I kind of want to fight it just to see but I don't know what else is around there. Oh, oh, I got its attention. I accidentally got its attention. Hey! Hey, 
Don't ignore me. Make this easy and just ignore me because AI is stupid. Is that how this is gonna go? That's how this is gonna go. God. Oh well. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill him. See if I Oh. Oh fuck. I just damn enough. note from him concerning the recruitment of new boys in Whitechapel I think I found one Albie he's as stupid as a stool but tough I asked him to prove to me he could get some drugs for the black market and deliver it quickly he's and so nicely next time we meet I'll tell him he's accepted as a wet boot boy and he must now meet the bosses to get his orders oh. <laughs> and codeine and clove of essence nice Game mechanics. So AI is kind of stupid, which is too bad. Um, not that it was even even when it was attacking me, it's not like it was a really bad, it was not like it was a really hard fight at all. Um, but yeah, like like the highest level I think we had seen was John Doe at like what level ten maybe. And then all of a sudden, level 18 skull. And I keep increasing my health bar, but I can only regenerate a certain amount of health. I wonder if there there has to be a way of increasing the amount of health you can regenerate. Okay. I think this was also meant to double as an NPC locator, so you can find people quickly. Perhaps I should because it is very useful for that. There's Pippa. Daily rules. There's the Pippa. Oh, glowy stuff. Let's get the glowy stuff. <laughs> We don't know who said that. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Strange man visiting nurses. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. Apparently her tales really, really focus on all of you guys whoring. <laughs> and is it whoring if it's the same guy every time? She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? Wait, what? <laughs> okay, now I'm not sure what's going on. No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps the old crone alive. What? <laughs> this is like, who says I... Okay. <laughs> Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. 
What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. Alright, looks like that's all we're gonna get out of her. Oh, here we go. Your relationship with Milton. Pepper, I know you're very close to Milton Hooks. Yes. Milton Hooks is my man. If you want to report me for that, just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. But are you aware of the risks? The rules say I won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore. But here at the Pembroke, we break rules all the time. Is he worth the risk? Hey, I'm no perfect woman, and Milton is not the finest bloke. But we do our best to get by. That's all any of us can hope for nowadays. Well, she's not wrong. Yep, that's all. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Yeah, ain't nobody trying to tattletale. <laughs> Let's see, that was Pippa. Something blinked at me. Wrong letter. It's locked. Just rifling through people's stuff. <laughs> Also makes it easier to find these. I absolutely passed every single one of these last last time I came through here. Uh, I already talked to you, Pippa. Where are the rest of them? Do I, I don't have any dialogue choices. 